Greetings. My name is Diana Rendon, and this is my final video, or the fifth video, for my um, internship to Pasantías Preprofesionales 2. Uh, today's topic is reading between the lines. In this video, I will explain how I would approach a 45-minute video uh, for third grade students of Baccalaureate students in tercero de bachillerato. Uh, let me share my screen. Of course, I have here my lesson plan. And this lesson plan is based on the government book, uh, lesson three, reading between the lines. Uh, let's begin by listing the objectives. I need, uh, by the end of the lesson, the students will be able to listen for key information and make educated guesses about where the story is going. Um, for speaking, they will be able to talk about events using uh, correct time expressions and verb tense, making inferences by using facts given by the story to better understand it. And finally, I want them to write a short story using the correct verb tenses and time expressions to help the reader, which uh, will be their classmates, to uh, follow a series of events. Uh, let's begin with the anticipatory set. Okay, for this anticipatory set, I will use classic fairy tales to point out often used expressions uh, such as once upon a time, afterwards, after, next, anything that helps the students um, understand or piece together what, uh, where they, uh, what kind, what verb tense they need to use during a story. So uh, for my anticipatory set, the movie clip I'm going to use is from the Eurofemius uh, series Harry Potter. And this is a short story animated within the seven movie. Let's uh, watch for a bit. There were once three brothers who were traveling along a lonely winding road at twilight. Okay, yeah, immediately. She says there once uh, was three brothers. She's giving me already time expression. And then she says at dawn. Uh, this is what I would do with the students. I would um, present the video which is animated and entertaining. And they would be, some of them would be very familiar with it. And those who are not at least would be motivated. And here we have a, a lot of time expressions which I want them to learn to uh, clue themselves into using the correct verb tense. In time, the brothers reached a river too treacherous to pass. Okay, she's uh, uh, time expressions and birth tense. She's using uh, the past tense. I will finish this whole story with the students. Talk a little bit about the bits they like, what they didn't like, and uh, tell them to tell me a few time expressions they found uh, during the video uh, that they found interesting or useful. Next, the warm-up um, the warm up activity. Again, I present a, a movie clip from the famous movie Hellboy 2 from Guillermo, director Guillermo del Toro. And ask the students to, this time I simply want them to watch this short film. This is uh, animated, this is colorful, this is very entertaining, and it is only four minutes long. What I have to do is watch it, discuss it, and then answer some comprehension questions. Okay, so here in YouTube is the video clip, and through that quiz, that or, uh, we are going to test the video. We know how that quiz, that or works. The student is provided with a code, a test code. They go to that quiz that or again, they don't have to be registered. They paste the code, enter. 
and then select their names. Okay, with their name selected, they can begin uh, taking the test that will be graded automatically by the teaching platform. And this is three questions, it's uh, not very difficult. And let's try to uh, engage with this activity a little bit with the uh, video. So here are the instructions. Watch the video, watch the video and then answer some questions, some comprehension questions. Okay, like first question, who's telling the story? A royal blacksmith, King Balor, or a father to his son? Uh, let's watch a little bit. It is said that at the dawn of time, man, beast, and all magical beings live together under Aegon, the father tree. But man had been created with a hole in his heart. Okay. Then, uh, during this activity, I will pause the video and allow the students to answer the questions. Uh, obviously, the story is uh, told from a father to his son, but let's say I made a mistake and the teaching platform will immediately let me know and then the student can make the proper correction. Uh, question number two, the men in the story were created with a hole in their hearts. Now, this is, a, this is an expression. They are, men are not literally uh, created with a hole in their hearts. They, they, would, they would die. So the students have to um, they, uh, use context to understand this expression and understand what the story is trying to tell. Like uh, a hole in the heart means men don't have hearts. Uh, men are greedy or men were hurt because of the hole in the hearts. Let's uh, rewind a little bit and uh, let the uh, story's context explain to us. But man had been created with a hole in his heart, a hole that no possession, power or knowledge could fill. And in his infinite greed, man dreamt of expanding his dominion Okay, so the story basically tell us, uh, helps us understand this expression that a hole in the heart means men are greedy. Okay, I will be available for the students to consult with me if they have questions or if they need uh, the reasoning behind the um, behind these answers. Okay, so uh, it keeps going like this. Is is um, 10 comprehension questions that the students can take along with the, with the video, okay? Following this, I present to the students using Think Link a classic fairy tale. I only present a few um, pictures and it is the student's job to predict where the story is going or infer information from the story. We have the classic uh, fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood. And what the students have to do is uh, watch this. If they want, they can use uh, these uh, links to understand a little bit more the story or use an external link if they, uh, sometimes uh, some students are very quickly and they don't have nothing to do. So. This is an external link for a comedic video for further reading or for students that have already finished their activities. Okay. So we have uh, them watching a video as an um, anticipatory set. Uh, this uh, is, I'm using the direct method during this part of the lesson because we are using the target language and they are inferring grammar from uh, what is being presented here. For the second part, this is a task-based approach because they are engaging in a compelling task in the using what they know in the target language. And for the final part, it is also, uh, the final part is a communi communicative language uh, learning uh, 
uh, teaching methodology that is being used because I want the students to communicate during this part of the lesson, communicate between each other and uh, talk to me, use the language, the, not focus too much on the mistakes, only focus on communication. Uh, for the last part of the lesson, as a close-up activity and review, what I will do is um, present the story proper with text and uh, point, uh, pay special attention to the uh, tense within the story. So the students know how to keep that consistent. And that is all for my videos in for internship number two. Thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.